Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, it's Greg here again. Uh, before we get anywhere started on this uh, update on the uh, JSU122S, I just want to wish everybody, all my subscribers, a very, very Merry Christmas and a uh, prosperous New Year. Let's hope everything you ask for, you get, or you don't get, whichever. So I just wish you all a very, 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 very Merry Christmas. So let's get started on this last sort of review of the year. I'm not going to do a review of my kits that I've built because there's only been four. So it's not worth worth me doing. But I may do after New Year. We'll, we'll see. Maybe do between New Year. Yeah, between a little or between Christmas and New Year. I might do that then. But let's go on with the uh, GSU first then. So I got the bar. I changed the barrel because the barrel I had is uh, for a, a GSU. 122, but different mantle. It's got the mantlet for the um, GSU 152, so it wouldn't quite fit in the hole. Like I said, I trimmed the bolts and that off, so I've changed that now. I've got another barrel, uh, it's basically from the uh, I think it's GS3 and it fits better. And it's got the same, it's the same as it's I can't remember, D25 gun, something like that. I can't remember, so I've changed the uh, I've changed that. Uh, excluding place at the moment, I've got the mantlet, the uh, still got the same resin um, extractor on the end so I've got to put the B and I keep knocking it off so I've got to put it on the last thing again keep knocking a little piece off as you can see I've texturized the more of the, um, the mantlet I added the bolts four bolts back into it and obviously I saw you that before didn't I the um, casting number on the side there so that's that part out of the way. Oh, and I've made a little texture on the uh, on the Lissy's PE as well, just texturised that slightly, rub, rubbed it down with a sandpaper, but made it and do it again, just to get that bit of a more smoother texture, because obviously it's it's more like pressed steel, isn't it, than uh, anything else. So I'll just pop that to the side. Oh yeah, well that's somebody, I've got a Christmas card sent to me. Um, I'm not sure who it's from. It's got Wallace and Gromit on it. And it's got, so obviously to me, oh, my wife's sellotape duck hanging on the door. Oh, it'll come off first. Let's put that on there. Yeah, it's got Wallace and I have a cracking time. And it's got to Greg, Merry Christmas, pal. Hope you have a great day. Alan, and I can't think. The only Al I know is uh, Al Woods. Not top me head, I can't think of anybody. So if anybody knows, sorry anybody sent it, can you let me know? It's racking my brain, somewhat rotten. It's obviously somebody who knows me. Alan. It looks, it looks like Alan. Sure it's Alan. What do you think? Oh, it is. It's a lovely thought. I and mean, Thank you very much, but until I find out, I will I will find out eventually. If anybody does know, kind of let it know in there. Anybody that's sent it, that's um, sub to my channel, can you just let me know? I feel, I feel embarrassed, I don't know who it's from. Right, that's back to the uh, GSU. Right, where are we at? Oh, tweezers, a bit maybe tweezers, these ones will do for now. Right, I've made the, I'm only going to put three um, fuel cans on, which are all four to etch. He's made four to etch, all this. And it's got the weld seam along the back of it there, which is a nice touch with the PE. And a few dents and bangs and prangs in them, I think. The ends. So they'll go on shortly. Not quite yet, I'm not ready for them pulling yet. Well, they were quite easy to do actually in the end. I've, I usually struggle doing them, but I've got myself into a good rhythm and I know what's best, basically better to do now, so that's what I do. So I've got all three there. You see all three? One, two, three. I didn't know that this one, the, the prang, the dented and, and whatever. Let me see if we can see it better with it. All dented and pranged. Probably do a bit more damage to them later on. And I've made all the rings to go around, the fasteners to go around. I've made all them, they're all ready to go. Uh, what else is in here? Uh, just, just little bits and pieces. Uh, the handle for the shovel come off for some reason but I shall put that back on at some point 
that's no problem. Right, yeah, so in the little packet we have these are the uh, PE brackets for the uh, fuel cans to go on. These are a bit of a, a thing to do. But I managed to get them done in the end. Let me just see if I put better on. Well, I think it was five or six parts in, I can't remember. It was five. But uh, yeah, a little bit of a thing to do, but they're done. I've made all eight of those. Um, what else? What else? What else? So these aren't quite finished yet. This is the, you know, for the shackles to go on, the tow hooks to go on. It's for, um, I had to drill them out and I just use brass rod for them to go through and they've got to go fasten them with a, a strap to the hull. So it's through to the fenders, so they were quite, they were too bad to do. They were fairly straightforward. Uh, what else in here? I've just added some old periscope at the bottom. These are going to be finished and my, um, I've got to mask them all off and do them. I may just spray them and paint them last. But I've got a PE cover on the top, periscope cover. So there's three of those, like that, with all different size hatches. We have that one. We have that one. And where's the other one? One, two, there must be only two, I'm sure there were three. And I've got the, uh, this is for a part of the rear uh, hatch on the uh, casement as well. I've added uh, brass handles to those. And this, there was a couple of um, things marks in there, injection marks, so I've got most of them out now. But this needs all spraying obviously and they all need um, Brain dead. In brain dead's getting terrible. It's getting terrible. He primed. Everything needs primed. There's no primer on this kit at all. The one which I was hoping to get done before Christmas, but it doesn't look like I'm going to get done. Um, we've got all these little bits and bobs in here that are ready for. You know, these are the straps for the. There we are. That's one of the straps for that. Um, I'm sure them toe toe hooks. That's one of them, so I've just bent it that way so it'll keep it shaped, but I'll loosen it when I need to put them on. So there's two of those, one each side. And some other little bits and bobs, handles, things like that that go on the uh, tank itself. Right, so that's that. And then we'll get to the main crux of the situation. We'll get to the... Well, no, we won't got anything to show you, haven't we, first? I'll just lay that flat. Oh, the way. We have... The usual array of wheels and light and such like. Um, I've got those just on a thing. I've got a magazine belt for the. I can never disc. I can never pronounce these for the uh, machine gun on the top. That's just PE parts, so they'll work awfully. I've made, I haven't quite finished this part yet. The actual gun itself. There's a couple of little bit more bits to go into the. Um, Ammunition tin. Well, that's not a bad little little build. It's got a bit of PE on the end there for the. I drilled out the barrel and had that little bit of PE. And you can see there's uh, PE on the, um, the sights, both ends. You got the sight on there and the sight on the other side. And again with the handles, I use some brass rod to go out to the for the PE handles as well. You can see those. Went quite well, so it's just a little bit more. I haven't finished the, the box yet, but the ammo that's got to go on there next at some point. And then we have all the wheels, and I'll show you the wheels. There's no point in showing you all the wheels, they're all the same basically. Even the return roller, so return <coughs> the idler wheel is the same as the road wheels, so there's no difference on them at all. So they're all like I've all been cleaned up, so ready for spraying. And we have the barrel cleaning rod, it's got a bit of PE on, I've cleaned it up and we've got the PE on there. And the little nuts on the end, the little wing nuts. So that needs to be, the saving needs priming. And then we got all the, I've cleaned up all the um, storage on, we're going to put all of these on, I don't think. But uh, this is just resin set that I got off eBay, so yeah, that's quite, I'll give it a good clean up needs finishing off yet 
they say they all need uh, priming. So, but yeah, I'm going to use all these. Well, not all of them, but a lot of them. You've got tarps, you've got, you've got this flap with a bit of rope and things on like that. They're quite, quite a nice little set. Quite a nice little set. And then we got one one with a uh, the Almas on. Just on a clot on a, on a tarp. That's quite nice. I'll probably use that one. They've got a couple of tarps, a couple of bed rolls. We have uh, a box, a few, a ammunition box could be even. So I'm going to take these handles off and I'm going to add some brass ones to them as well. I maybe texturize it a bit if it's because I think it is supposed to be wood. I'm not 100% sure, but I'll have a look and see. So we have that. And Lastly, we have one of those like that. Not a bad little set, still need to oh, miss a bit there. Just need to clean some of it up again before they're primed. Yeah, so that's those. Oh, they're all ready to go. Right, so let's get to the main, main part of the build. Oh, go over there, out of the way. Right, let me lift this up delicately. As you can see, I've got a lot since last time. I've added the PE uh, fenders. On the front, I added all these little handles. You can see all the little handles on there. And on the front, I've added some damage as well. Damage that fender, it's all bent and twisted. And again, I've added a few more impact, impact marks. Again, got the little box on the side. I've added the brackets to the uh, PE, to the sorry for the side skirts that are attached to the hull. These parts here are for the um, for the the brackets for the fuel for fuel cans. So I'm going to have to drill them out slightly because the PE's got a little bracket that goes through there. So I'm going to just let me carefully drill that out. Uh, that's for the shovel, I think, or, or the axe. Which I've got to make a bracket for. There we have all PE again. And if you look carefully, I've uh, added the wire for the um, light. And because the horn I've broke, he's got wires coming out the end as well. As if it's been damaged. Well, it has been damaged, it's broken off. We can quite make it out. And obviously, that's headlights all hollowed out and needs sorting it. And, and I need to find a uh, clear part but only comes with a grey part in this case so but I'm sure I've got some somewhere if not I've seen somebody making one with clear sprue um, so if I can find that video again I'll uh, try and reproduce that see I'm quite happy with the texture on the sides and the handles all the uh, grab handles are broke bent twisted you've seen some services vehicle but you can see I'm quite happy with that sort of rolled steel texture on there you see on the front you've got the mount obviously to go there, but there again, I'm quite happy with that. And on this side, same again, it's quite good. Engine deck, I did a little bit on the engine deck, and if you can see on the engine deck, I've, little, I've added all the little like rings to the um, lifting eyes on there. So we've got uh, four, uh, eight on there. Uh, I've put textures, put a lot of texture on the exhausts as well. And on the rear, we've got the brackets there for the uh, uh, smaller fuel cans on the back, which I'm not putting on. Just added those and a few PE handles. Uh, drilled out a couple of bolts, uh, you know, wear and tear, damage, or um, lost the bolts, or you know, to come off in action. And again, you can see all the low rings again on the uh, on those little handles there. Those three in the centre, and two under those brackets. Uh, saying I've drilled out the because I've knocked all the fenders off the back. I've drilled some holes out there again as if it's fastened to the fence and they've come for, obviously come off, so I've left holes again on there. So, yeah, so it's coming along, uh, it's coming along, we're getting there bit by bit. And there's a couple of ones on there which I didn't show you for the couple of hooks again. Uh, sorry, o rings on there on the handles there, but yeah, it's, it's going quite well, quite well, quite pleased with it so far. Obviously, I've got texture on texture on uh, the uh, casting. I want to see if I can find a picture of the casting. There must be a casting number on there, but that's, I don't know where it goes. I'll try and find that out because I've got some casting numbers left. Again, and I've got a bit of 
cast texture on the rear as well so, as well and obviously I showed you the weld seams didn't I last time all the different weld seams on there yeah so I'm quite happy with that and see I've added the little side lights and the wires for the side lights I presume these are lights gate and the ones on the rear on each side and then we have I'm not too sure what that part is there where my thumbs are Oh yeah, sorry. Not 100 percent sure what that is. It looks like a light, but I don't I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure. Yeah, I've added a bit more texture to the back as well, just a little bit. Because it was a bit lacking. And there's the damage on the rear fender as well, so yeah, so I'm happy with all that. It's uh, coming along nicely. And I see I've got the figures there, you've seen them last time. I may add another two yet, I haven't fully decided, so... Um, yeah, so I think it's moving along nicely. I, see I won't get much done now for the next few days, obviously for, obviously for Christmas. It's family time, family come first. But I might be able to get a couple of hours in there. I might prime all of them and things like that. So I'm going to put these away as well. Pop them in here. Yeah, I want to make sure I add most of the things to the to the uh, to the tank the, the uh, tank destroyer itself before before I um, prime it. See, I've got I've got, I've got the I think it's Mister one for the uh, P primer or whatever it's called P primer where you caught it with that you know, sort of and shouting and gabbing. I've got some of this stuff on, so I'll have to. I'm going <coughs> to spray it with a bit of. Um, Actually, proper all wipe of any finger marks off things like that, and then we'll add that to all the PE as well before we uh, we prime it. So I'll leave it out so I know I've got it out so I can stay there. That'll be one of the first jobs I do. So I think that's it. Well, we're uh, where we at with the builds. Can't think of anything else. Nope, I think that's it. So I've got my Christmas tree and it plays music. Listen, we well, did. Probably didn't do it now. Oh, he does there, yeah. That's my Christmas tree. So I won't be left out in here. So, yeah. Right, I'm starting to waffle now, so I'd say I wish, just wish you all a very, very, very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And please look after yourselves, and we shall see you make a chance between Christmas and New Year. If not, it'll be in the New Year. So, have a fantastic time, people. Relax, family time, and enjoy. So this is Greg signing off, and we'll catch you very, very soon with a, and probably another update of this eventually, or one of the build video that I've done for the uh, for the uh, Shilboni Tech Two minutes because there's only four. So see you soon. Take care.